Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Last time I spoke to you I had just had my open house and was waiting for feedback on those viewings. Um, it's Tuesday today and today I finally got an answer from the agents. A lot of chasing and emails and leaving my message on their answer phone. As an aside, if they're not answering their messages that I leave on the answer phone, what if someone was calling to make an offer? Hmm? I'm sure they're just screening them and ignoring me. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, so the excuse for not getting back to me sooner was they wanted to touch base with all three of the people that did come. So three people did come as planned. And I did say, well, you, why didn't you call me on Saturday? I mean, I just assumed, because you normally call me if anyone's had any enthusiasm. Um, and she said, oh, I just wanted to get some proper feedback. Anyhow, we've got some. So three viewers. First one, apparently very, very interested and absolutely loves the house. Um, she is a lady going for a divorce. So this is actually a perfect place for them, for location-wise, you know, you know, I think I've told you before, so, you know, like I'm obviously a single lady and um, a lady that moved in around the same time as me, she's in the same boat. And what we like about it is the location. It's so easy to get into Stratford. You could just walk down the road. They're there. You're in town in less than five minutes and we have parking. But, you know, so because the problem with Stratford upon Avon is if you live in the actual dead centre, you have to park on the road. And who wants to park on the road? You know, what if you can't find a space outside your house when you've got the shopping? Finding a parking space. A dedicated parking space was one of my top criteria when I wanted to move here. You know, and it's a cosy home and it's like, you know, nice size for one. And she loved the garden. So the agent said, you know, we're not going to have problems with, the, we're not going to have bamboo gate again. So she said, because she absolutely loved it, exactly as it was. Now, this lady has her house on the market. And I think I told you last week, so that when the agent was trying to determine who came and who didn't, she told me last week that she had some offers on her property that were just being qualified. The story was a little different, you know, today. It was that um, she's marketing her property, but she hasn't got any offers on it yet. <sighs> Honestly, they change the story every time. They could at least make notes to know what they have told me. Anyhow, so... She's not in a position to make an offer, but, you know, it's kind of nice to know that somebody is interested and we're not going to have the fuss over the garden. The second viewer was looking for an investment property and uh, he wanted somewhere he could Airbnb, which, actually, this is perfect for Airbnb. My next door neighbours bought their house and that's exactly what they do. And two other properties on this street do the same. And they are raking it in. It's such a desirable area. And it's the parking. You're saving. You come in here to Stratford-upon-Avon for a weekend. You do not want the parking fees that they charge here. It's not cheap. Um, and they make a killing. Now, I did tell the agent, you know, to push that point. But I don't know whether she did or not. But he said he wanted something um, that was suitable for Airbnb. And this was not the right location. <laughs> Never mind. And the third person that viewed was a gentleman who's um, getting divorced and he didn't think there was enough space out the front. So I think you've seen the front of my house. So we have like, a, you have a driveway in front of the garage, which you could fit a small car on. And then to the side, there's the gravel part, which I had my van on. Maybe he's got a bigger camper van or something. I don't know. But so we had interest from one. So we'll just see. I did have a chat with my agent and, you know, it reminded her, like, I am going to Australia in four weeks. And when I'm away, I do not want my property marketed. When I'm away is actually when my, which I'm ashamed to admit to, my six-month term, six months they've had this nearly, 
um, ends with the estate agent. So actually, before I go to Australia, I'm going to put the notice in to terminate it. In the meantime, as soon as I have the chance, I do want to go and talk to other agents because, uh, you know, to be ready when I get back. Because I think I've made that decision now is I have not got time to, in four weeks, to really get another agent up to speed and do that. But it might do it good to come off the market for two, two and a half months. But I did communicate this to her and, you know, if this lady is interested, you know, we can always talk about that at some point. But, um, you know, when, that, when I'm in Australia, I'm just not going to be contactable. So I don't want to be contactable. Thank you. Anyway, that's my little update. Uh, so no offers. Still where we are. Still being optimistic. Sometimes I think things happen for a reason and uh, we will discover what that is. I wanted to thank you all for taking the time to like, like my videos and for all your lovely comments that you put below. And I do read them all and I do try to answer everybody. This weekend I thought what I would do is, um, on my video, is answer the questions that you've been asking. So. Uh, if you have any questions that you want me to answer that I haven't properly answered already or new questions, please pop them in the comments here and I will address them at the weekend. I like to give you my honest opinion on things. You don't have to agree with what I say. And uh, I like hearing alternative opinions. I think that's what makes the world such a great place is having different points of view but I will always try and be honest with you when I get to deliver my answers. Thank you for watching. I'm still smiling. Despite the estate agents driving me crazy. And I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.